Well, hello, traders and investors. I'm Elliot Little, and this is your daily Neo TA wrap. We take a look at these markets, doing it from a neoclassical perspective, looking at your supply and demand on the charts at critical price points, those things that are significant. I do this show four times a week, every Monday through Thursday. It's broadcast at or before 10 o'clock Eastern Time. It's archived on YouTube and it's under the channel LA Little. If you want to subscribe, reach up in the right-hand corner and do so. Also, there's a weekly show. We look at a broader perspective. Instead of uh, dailies, we look at weeklies and monthlies. And so it gives you more of an investment point of view. As far as what these markets did, well, they just kept going up. And actually, we had some bad reads last night. I'm going to show you what those were and why it's important to get the full set of information. Um, you know, it didn't change things that much, but it did change the way the day started out. As far as what happened tonight, uh, we had the DAX, the CACs, all of them up uh, over in Europe. We had the same thing over in Asia, and we had big gains here in the U.S. again, another half a percent across the board. Bonds sell off, gold and silver sell off. They actually did reversals, and oil spikes back up, takes back what it gave away yesterday. And so a, a pretty dynamic lift again. And when I was referring to um, you know the bad reads, well, what I was talking about was the need to have volume numbers when you make these reads. You know, last night I believe I did say I didn't have the volumes yet. I assume they were lighter. They weren't. They were heavier. If you look at the volume last night, in particular on the Switzerland uh, exchange, uh, you had 40.1 40, 40 versus 35.9. Remember I said it was an over-under, a failure at this price point on that breakdown bar? Well, had more volume on the over-under, so that wasn't a failure, and it actually didn't test the top, so we didn't have a failure there either yet. And so, you know, rather than getting a pullback, this thing just gapped up a little bit and just kept going all day long. Breaks over a swing point high today. Uh, it's going after the next one here, 83.10. You know, it's important in neoclassical, A, to pick out the significant price points because that's where you get information, and B, to have the full set of data, time, price, and volume to compare to. And we didn't have that last night, and I apologize uh, that I made the calls. I actually spent some time today to get this so that I could get my volumes by the time I do the show. So hopefully that will be the case going forward. It's been about a week and a half, two weeks. I haven't been doing that. Uh, so today I figured out how to get that correctly for us. So anyway, that's um, the Swiss market. And what does it mean? It means Swiss market wants to go higher again tomorrow. If I could look over to the DAX, Take the second most important market right now. That one also last night, if you remember, I had an over under there after an extended move. Felt like it would get a sideways to down, but it was more volume. And I just talked about getting uh, the, the volumes. I thought I got them all. I'll have to go check this one. Uh, this one was lighter today, uh, but it did get higher, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I will have to uh, look at that. So, so much for my I will get them, right? I, I missed it on these two, but I'll go check it out. I do know I can get them. Evidently, didn't get the programs quite right. We get over it on the CACs, also lighter volume, uh, but it's over it, right? Going after this one. So this one is uh, 449055, and oh, I actually broke them both. So you break two swing points, even though you don't have the volume. Actually, you break three. You break this one over here as well. So this one's going to try to get up to the next one. And so Europe is trying to go higher. Europe's doing exactly what we did some time back. And that is, is that uh, it's kind of in that spurt mode. It wants to play catch up uh, with the rest of uh, uh, at least the U.S. markets. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look like anything wants to stop them right now. If I go to the uh, U.S. markets, look at the S&P 500. S&P 500 gets to a new high. So... Yesterday, you know, I'd suggested this morning that what we might see, uh, given that I thought that Europe was going to trade lower because they didn't have the volumes to look at yet, um, I thought we might see a little bit more of a push back into this retest, regenerate zone, the bullish one that was there. Uh, that zone was about, if I can get that in there, right about there, right? Just barely got into it. You see it there. I thought we might get a little deeper today. We didn't. Now, it tells us something when it does something like that, and that is, is that what it's saying is, hey, I'm still stronger than you think because you should get back into the lower third of that area, and it didn't, and it just regenerated higher. Now, if this does 
push up again tomorrow on Friday, and we close out up there at the highs, right? Again, strong suggestion that this market isn't done yet. We have already talked about ABCD structures. Uh, there's two of them in place, and uh, one of them is about 2195. That one has a little bit farther to go, uh, but they are trying to push uh, towards those higher numbers. NASDAQ gets at new highs again, just barely, but it's up there. Uh, the close just slightly over yesterday. If we look at the NDX, uh, NDX also gets a little bit higher and does manage to hold on to it. And if finally we go to the Russell, uh, the Russell did push back up pretty good today. I'd be curious to see if we can get back over this bar, 1232.87. So uh, I still do not see anything here on these indexes to tell us that we should be doing something different than what we're doing, and that is if we're riding a trend higher. Now, if you're unaware of what we really do at TA Today, uh, you know, the focus really is on education and providing you the opportunity to make money while you learn. We do that in a number of ways, and in particular for me, you know, I have this trade with LA. Each morning I give you morning comments, but I also have a chat room. And in that chat room, you know, all day long, I'm putting chat uh, material in here. And uh, that material, uh, although it doesn't show now, um, and actually I could pull it up if I wanted to, uh, I could pop down here to the history, uh, wherever the history is here, or I could go to the logs and you could see what I, you know, information I gave uh, folks all day long. One of the trades we're in is BABA. And, uh, you know, I'm talking about how much money I want to put into it, what it's doing. I also talk about the general markets and so forth. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to show you here is that, you know, in this, I actually did a, a setup, trade setup this morning, and you probably have seen my uh, cradle to grave trade setups. And I talked about BABA in particular because we actually got into BABA uh, about two days back, and we got into it because we thought it was going to break out. It was set up correctly. It was set up to break out on multiple time frames. That's one of the best trades you can make. And so we took that trade. Uh, we did some adding to it today. And, uh, you know, if you're curious as to what we do and how we do it, up 7% on the year, haven't had hardly any drawdowns, just got to pop over here and get started, folks. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, 19 a month if you pay monthly, 15 a month if you want to do a year at a time. Try it out for two weeks, see what you think. I don't think you can go wrong. And, um, you know, I prove it here almost on a daily basis that you really can time these markets and you can time pretty well. And if you tie that with some good money management, you can consistently be profitable. I, you know, I've done it for years. I've now taught others to do it and am teaching others again and will continue to teach. That is what we do. We have a mentoring program. You can check out that mentoring program here. You know, and I'm saying all of this because I think a lot of folks just don't understand what's here and what you get and the kind of value you get. So, you know, if you really want to learn what you're doing, you want to take care of your money and you want to grow it over time, don't just expect somebody to give you stuff, right? Understand how it's done. And, yeah, you can come here. You can use the tools forever. I mean, they're going to give you, you know, Stock Monitor is a great tool. I use it every morning. You know, what, is, what does it do? Well, I can put my watch list in here, and I'm not going to put my uh, stocks, but every morning I review this. Right, it's it's the stocks that I have for all the TA Today members. It's the stuff you see in my portfolio on the TA Today site. But I could put something else in here, and I'll just throw you know, let's just throw robotics in. It's going to give me anything in that group in that watch list that has a signal, and that is is it's getting close to doing something, whether it's retracing, you know, where it's breaking out, whatever it's doing, bearish retrace, bullish breakout. If we pop to the bullish breakout, it will tell us what those are. And then we could actually pop into those charts. You just click them and they pop up. It's a powerful set of tools that lets you stay up with what this market's doing and gives you the edge that you need to be successful. Folks, that's it for tonight. What I think tomorrow, it's the same thing I've been thinking. Ride this trend. Make the money while you can. They say make hay uh, while it, uh, you know, the sun shines. And the sun is definitely shining right now. Have yourself a great night. I'll see you on Sunday. Take care. Good night.